Now, you are obviously like the animal fact machine, right? Sure. So I'm going to rely on you for information on whether or not I can beat these animals. Okay, I'll try. In a fight. So someone made this already. Animals like a beat in a fight, tearless maker. We got, at the top, we got, I would paint their uh, the walls in their blood. Okay. They'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. It would be a close one, but I win. But if I win, but if win, be a close but one, I but I win. Yeah. 50 50 chance that I win or lose. It would be a close one, but I'd lose. I get a few hits in, but I would lose. I get torn to fucking shreds. I'd be scared to even fight. All right. What do we think? Is this good? Yeah. There's a lot of animals on here. All right, let's do it. Number one. Okay. Number one is a lobster, right? Mm hmm I mean, that's nothing. Yeah. You that's, could step on it. I would fucking destroy it. Yeah. I would paint the walls of their blood. For sure, for sure, for sure. Easy peasy, right? Do you have any fun lobster factoids? Do they I actually don't. when you when you throw them in the fucking hot water, are they are they actually no. in pain and crying? I don't or know. Or is that fake news and it's just the shell releasing pressure? Oh, well they're not like screaming. I don't I don't know that lobsters vocalize at all. Do they? I don't know. I don't know anything. I, I know very little about anything marine. Oh my god, dude. I I'm thought sorry. you were the animal. Bad start. Zebra? I thought you... Zebra. What? Ooh. Zebras are not very violent animals. Right? I mean, oh, we're, but we're not talking like in, in temperament, right? All these animals are also trying to fight you back, correct? I guess, yeah. Like they're actually, zebras are way scarier than horses. Like, okay. I, I think I could fuck it. They up. are smaller though. I think I could fuck a zebra. Up. Tell me how. Zebra comes trotting at me. Okay. I fucking kick it in the face with a well timed kick. Pow! Right in the fucking kisser. Zebra's like, what just happened to me? And then what? You think it knocks it out? You think it's less than three. I think I think away. when it's discombobulated, I jump on top of the zebra and I start riding it by holding on to the zebra's hair. And then it's my zebra now. Like I'm I've tamed it. And now I'm riding a zebra. I think zebra comes trotting up to All you. You look at its stripes, you get really disoriented because you have a really small brain, and then it kicks you once, dead. You lose to a zebra one hundred percent. I don't die in one kick, no shot. To the head? Yeah. Oh, to the head, yes. But I don't think you can get me in the head. Zebra's only headshot. You just made that up. Nope. You can't give me fake uh, information. Nope. That's a real fact. Today. The whole point is you're, you're headshot giving... headshot percentage is 100. Okay, no shot. I think, okay, okay. Zebra would win 50-50 chance. Absolutely not. It would, no, you you. Oh, lose. okay. It would be a close one, but I'd lose. No, you'd get a few hits in, but you'd lose. i get a few hits in, but I'd lose. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. What a fucking rat. No, it's a GG's. That's a mouse. What's the Idiot. difference? Rats are bigger. Regardless, I kill both of them. Uh, hardest enemy in any From Software game. Easiest enemy in real life. You want to hear life. something crazy about mice and rats? What? Um, they have almost completely prehensile no, penises because head. when they ejaculate... What the fuck they, does that mean? Prehensile? Yeah, like... Um, what? Like they, they can use it to grab things. <laughs> Whoa, that's sick. Because, Wait. Because when a rodent ejaculates into another rodent, it deposits this cap. No and I don't know what the cap is made out of, but it's like really, really hard. That's cap. And it literally just like corks the vagina so that the next rat can't compete. So they've developed like almost a completely prehensile penis. So they go in there and they have to fish it out before they ejaculate. They're like, damn, rat. somebody's been somebody's been beating my wife's ass cheeks. Like, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to scoop out it the cum. Up on you yep. And then I'm going to put my no, cum in there. Lions scoop out the cum. Lions have a spoon shape at the end of their penis. So much about this. Oh, I got plenty of this. What the fuck? Animal Lions have a spoon facts? shape at the end of their penis. So when they, when they fuck another lion, they can scrape out competing semen. Ew. Okay. We'll get to more later. Let's, let's move on. What's the next one? Okay, uh, next up is uh, deer. Yeah, you're dead. Really? Deer, like a, a, a buck that wants to fuck you up, like you get hits in, but it, would, it could kill you for sure. I mean, a lot of these animals could kill, a rat could kill me, technically. A mice could kill, a mouse could kill me, technically. I mean, like in a fight, right? But in oh. a fight, if you're fighting a mouse, you're going to kill it. If you're fighting a deer, like you get really fucked up. You would have to really grab it and like you'd have to break its neck, which is Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I would I would hold that's exactly what I would do. 
I would try to go after its antlers and I would try to fucking uh, yeah. yoink it, like crank its neck. You and, might have a chance there, but if it gets to you first and it impales you, like. Yeah, obviously, if it impales me, it's fucking rap. Yeah. I'm not surviving that. Or it impales me and then very anime like, I use my body to be like, uh, and then I fucking uh, move my body around and I break his neck while I'm impaled. What did you just say? I understand. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> did you make up Japanese? The no. first part was Japanese. No, <laughs> both of those parts <laughs> were real. Wait, what does Japanese. the second one mean? Dear, de I said, dear sama. Like, I respect it. I respect the deer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in both circumstances, I defeat the deer. I think. I think it's pretty obvious. I think you got. I think you got like a chance. Like on that turf for what? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. The iguana. <laughs> splat. Any fun facts they about would, iguanas? They would get hits in. <laughs> what? Iguanas are no joke. I I've I've kept. When I say I've kept, Hi. I mean as a zookeeper, um, green iguanas, and they get—I mean, these guys like with tail are are like massive, um, and they can shred. Do their do their tails also, you know? Are they a gun? Oh, because <laughs> like lizards, like I used to try to catch lizards when I was younger, and their tails would yeah disconnect. Um, I don't, I don't know. Which I, is I weird. How yes. the fuck do they do that? They have like a eject. Yeah. Like a parachute. It's, it's pretty sick um no they but they can like really really scratch you and they can bite really hard and they can like really shut don't do not look up iguana bite chatters it is no joke they just like yeah just rip all your skin 100 percent iguanas off. don't fuck around i'm salvadorian we eat those things all their tail whips like a leather belt deer fight you sure you can fight one of these yeah i fucked that up dude get the fuck out of here Yeah, I fuck it up. If it didn't have an antler, it's over. It's a wrap. But they ha it has antlers. The one in the picture has antlers. Yeah, I'm saying that without an antler, it'd be so easy. Ow. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, uh, my deer stance has not changed. Squid, easy. I mean, disgusting. I'd be terrified, out. but I would paint the walls in their blood and ink. They're very smart. They can use tools, but I would just kick it. It's not a squid, but there's a cephalopod uh, with a detachable penis. I don't know exactly how You're it works, deer, those are but small white they get really close to the female, and then they just send it off. They get one shot, one opportunity to impregnate. That's so weird that you know that. Oh. I thought you said I'm you don't know for. anything about lobster. Well, not dicks. <laughs> not exclude. I thought you were going to give me like, you know, tier zoo style. Like this is, you I know. I love tier zoo. Yeah, me too. This is like you a just, like, fighting sequence. Okay, like, sorry. I just got, I just got. No, over you're there. just straight up only talking <laughs> about how they come. Okay. Yeah, you're, you, you, I think you misunderstood. <laughs> What if you were attacked by a giant squid? Okay, to be fair, that's a giant squid. You're it's not all such round. Yeah, oh. seen by humans. Because he's In weak. In fact, most of the stuff ah! you do know about them is from They do have a beak, right? So, like, they could probably the shore. Hurt you. Ah! Like its smaller relatives, the giant I fucked that one up, but... ...has two <laughs> eyes, a beak, eight arms, two feeding tentacles, and a siphon. All stuff you don't want swimming up against you. Giant squids like, mostly eat deep water fish like and other squids. I hate them. Including going full on Hannibal Lecter and eating their Getting own kind. Oh, if I'm, water, if I'm in the water, squid takes me every time. If I'm in the water, like doesn't matter how small the squid is, the squid will fucking end my life. No matter how tiny it is, no matter how friendly it is, even that fucking cute ass one, because I am I have an unrealistic fear of like uh the water based animals killing me while I'm in the water, while I'm in their territory. Can you swim? Yeah, very well actually. Really? But I still you seem am. Like you couldn't swim. Okay, okay, TikTok. TikTok. What? Do you know that? No, okay. I genuinely don't know the reference. Oh, okay, never mind. That's like a. That's like a TikTok meme where it's like girls telling guys that they don't know how to swim. They look like they don't know how to swim. Wait, why? And then do they it's get? It's how to piss a man off. Yeah, it's how to piss a man off. Oh. 
Um, I'm just very realistic about my chances with the squid in the water. It would fuck me up, but in obviously like, you know, if, if it's like water that I can like still stand in, it's over. It's game over. I fucking destroy it. Okay. Fair enough. Men hate being told they can't swim. Where the fuck did that come did from? Dajan watch the show where the girl tests her gator. Yeah, we did. That's the cute one. Uh, it's a Dumbo octopus. That's a cute one. I mean, even in underwater though, that thing would fuck me up if I'm like. <laughs> anyway, but you know, out of the water, it's over. Bear, I mean, no shot. No shot. I get torn to fucking shreds. Like, like even if I tried, I think I'd be too scared to even fight. But even if I tried to fuck up a bear, like, is a wrap. <laughs> Dead. Easy. Yeah, Immediately. No there's no. You know, there's a there's a list. I'm a of animals that people think they can beat in fights and you'd be surprised like a lot of people think they can take on like bears and stuff that's crazy people think they can take on monkeys which is stupid like right. you cannot no, take monkeys on are no joke. monkeys will fuck you monkey up. could be like this big and it could just rip you to shreds yeah i've had terrible monkey experiences Hippopota uh, hippopotamus Hippopotamus. Oh, yeah. yeah you're done. okay well, i'm turkish it's, it's over yeah <laughs> i've seen I've seen what they do to fucking whole watermelons. Like these motherfuckers pop watermelons, Chad. If you've never seen it, they're so vicious too. Yeah. They're so deadly and so incredibly vicious. Did you guys know hippos can't actually swim? They literally jump from the bottom of the. Uh, they run on the bottom. Yeah, they run on the bottom. They're crazy. They kill an absurd amount of people a year, like a really sad amount of people. Yeah. Uh, no shot turtle. It's a wrap. You want to hear a sad thing about sea turtles? What? They're, when they lay eggs in the sand, right? They like crawl mm -hmm. up on the sand, they lay eggs. And the sex of those eggs is determined by the temperature of where the egg is in that nest. And so climate change is killing sea turtles in the weirdest way because they're all, the, it's hotter. And so they're all hatching. I don't know if it's male or female. They're turning the freaking but, sea turtles gay. Yeah, so they just like can't. They're turning no, the wait, freaking not, frogs no, 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 gay. No, 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 they're not turning. And they're them turning gay. the sea turtles they just, gay. They just can't reproduce. Yeah, that's what I Isn't mean. Isn't that bizarre? It's like one of the most interesting or like saddest, weirdest uh, climate change. Bio knows very little about animals. Is big diesel. How do you not clap these ass cheeks? Like, how do you do? You, do you not feel like you want to just like give them a good one, like not, a, not one day all. off a week? I, no, I mean I. Big Diesel probably just knows way more about animals than I do. That's probably why he said that. And he's also probably super, super rich and famous and cool. So he's allowed to say that. What are you saying right now? What the fuck? I'm mad on your behalf. They're talking shit. That's not talking shit. He's, he's just telling the truth. I don't know anything. I'm just in it for... Uh, wow. The money. Oh, yeah. Okay. A security guard slapping a hippo at a zoo? You what are crazy for opening shit like that. That makes me so nervous. What? You're so fucking... 18-month subscriber. <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> okay, I hope the hippo kills him now, though. Like, mm -hmm. I, I really do hope... I mean, fuck that guy. I, I thought it was. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, it's a bizarre. Where they just like have enclosures where the hippo could just like literally jump out of? You know what that hippo would do to those kids, dude? That hippo would eat those kids like they're watermelons.
Wait, I need to send this to... Everybody. Hippos may seem like gentle, whimsical animals, but any naturalist will tell you that every bit as dangerous as lions or wolves. Yeah. Not only can hippopotam hippopotamus open its mouth at a 180 degree angle, but it can bite any unwary tourist completely in half with a ferocious force of 2,000 per square... Uh, 2,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, hippos are crazy. They're so cute, though, but they're just fucking crazy. Black they're heart. scary. Black heart. Black heart. It makes me sad because I, I do want to pet him. Okay, lion. Fucking get torn to shreds. It's a tiger, but... Or, I mean, tiger. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's how little I know about animals. You no, know, there are more tiger. Everybody knows this fact, right? But there... Well, not everybody, but there's more tigers in captivity in the state of Texas than exist in the wild. Yeah, we all saw it. That show sucks you didn't well, like it no why because uh carol baskins did it right yeah a wolf okay wolf i don't know probably dead probably yeah. pretty easily dead yeah you would. i have a theory out of all the animals like i didn't even i wouldn't even count these as animals that i would like even put in a tier list but out of all the animals the only one i could like fight and win a fight is a dog Okay. Um, and like that, that's kind of what spurned this conversation is like, I could fuck up a dog. Okay. Cause like sometimes like I have a really big dog. I had a really big dog. Um, and you know, we, I'd wrestle them all the time. Right. Mm. And it got me thinking like, if I went to the dog park, there's like different types of dogs. I had a pit bull for those of you who don't know. Uh, and he was very big. He was like 80 pounds and we'd wrestle all the time. If I were to fight a dog, like, or there were some like bad dogs every now and then at the dog park. And I'd be like, if this dog tried to like come at fish, my dog, um, what could I do? Mm -hmm. And I would size them up. <laughs> okay. I would like size up the, the dog. And I think heard. like, and I think the dogs would feel that energy or like they, it would bounce off of me. And they were like, oh, I respect you. Like, oh my like, God, you it's sound cool, like bro. the men I would avoid in college. Okay. It's cool, bro. Like, I'm not going to fuck up uh, your, you know, I'm not going to fuck with your dog. Like, you know, you're chill. Okay. And. I would basically like, I could probably take most dogs okay. because like, it's just, I could just one well-placed kick, one well-placed kick to the head. I mean, it's over. Like I could just keep fucking kicking them. Mm -hmm. As yeah. long as I don't fall on the ground, I think I could do a good job yeah. defeating a dog in hand-to-hand in -hand combat. Never keep a pet that you can't kill by yourself. Even if you're woken up naked at 3 I think for this one, I would... Put you in. I'd I'd get a few hits in, but I would lose for a wolf. Not letting me do it. No, I. <laughs> Not letting me do it. If you think you would win, you can put it up there. That's fine. I don't think I can win against the wolf. I think the difference between wolves are that they're so big. They're I, big. Yeah, you know, like they're they're not like dogs at all. There was a there was a half wolf breed at the dog park I used to go to. And like, even their vibes are different. Mm -hmm. They just don't feel like dogs yeah. and other dogs avoid them too. It's People like, are so dumb for that, by the way, the whole hybrid thing. It's like we've, yeah. it's, it's how many years put into making this like perfect companion animal for people. And you're just like, let me put some, let me put some shit in there that I don't want in my house. Like why? Why? Yeah. And they're, I mean, it's like kind of dangerous too. Um, yeah, no, I would, I would, it'd be a close one, but I'd lose. Fair enough. Scarlet Macaw. Wolf size for scale? Doesn't look that big. That's a big at what? That is definitely very big. Are you kidding? That wolf is bigger, bigger than you. Ready to unleash at you. Yeah, oh for sure. I kicked the fuck out of a pit bull that tried biting my dog. That's what I'm saying. Like I could take on most pit bulls. Like I could fuck up a pit bull. Straight up. No. I could not. No disrespect. Like you know, I love pit bulls, but I could fuck one up. Like I, I get just, destroyed. I, I would, I would fucking paint the walls uh, with its blood for sure. Do you know what the Sweetwater Roundup is? People that say wait, no, but people that say bite lock or whatever are just not pit bull owners. Not You're just fucking bull. making shit up. That's like a bite lock is nothing. Like pit bulls just have. That's not a real thing. Like a like a. You you want to know what dogs are. Uh, actually more powerful with their bite and their jaw clenching and all that. It's it's, it's German, German shepherds. shepherds. Yeah. Like a German shepherd has an easier time fucking me up than a pit bull, straight up. Or a Belgian Malinois 
Those things have height. Those they can nuts. literally jump like they can jump to like. I don't know. I've seen some crazy Those shit. Those are nuts. Yeah, yeah. Well, out of all the dogs that I'm t- uh, thinking of that I could like fuck up, a Belgian Malinois is probably the hardest one for me to fight. But I can still defeat it. Anyway, okay. Scarlet macaw. Parrot. Is that a scarlet macaw? Ty- is it a type of parrot? Yes. Parrot. Fucking, it's fucking ripper on you. They can bite like a motherfucker. But I mean, yeah, sure, would, but like would it would hurt, but... Right. You would win. It would hurt, but I think I could fucking, you know, snap its little bird neck. Yeah. Wait, what? How the hell are you saying you can't take a wolf? We're meeting the wolves. Oh, I do you know what this is? Do you know what this video is? Mm-mm. Is this the lady that makes out with the wolves? This I already hate it. She literally makes out with the wolves. What is happening? My computer is like dying. should be just for him. I was not slow in coming forward with his snarls and piercing stares at Marit to let her know that he wasn't happy that she was commanding my attention. It's quite hard. Oh, what an idiot. She literally is making out the with The leading them. female Marit was very insistent on licking the inside of my mouth for affirmation. So I allowed her to. White women, dude. What the fuck is going on right now? Oh my God. Yeah, I remember this video. It was a famous video. All the while acknowledging the strict pack order. There were lower ranking wolves and it was important to make sure I greeted the wolves in order of ranking. Like I, I needed to make sure Smasher pass. Pass. <laughs> Before you knew she was pass. you know getting a fucking tongue bath from a wolf. Pass. Okay. Alright. You need to do that with wolves or you get fucked, it's literally true. Or just avoid the fucking wolves. How about that? I don't know. I'm just saying. Something about wolves and horses. I, the people that work with them just get weird, man. They just get weird. Wait, what do you mean? I love horses. Yeah, people horses are like big know, dogs. Get weird with horses. They're just like obsessed with their horses, and they're like my horse would never hurt me. My horse Give loves me. I You're a horse. You weren't even a horse girl. We're both horse Still girls. Still am. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, we're weird. Uh, the, I used to work at a zoo that shared property with this wolf sanctuary, and the woman who owned it was like obsessed with her wolves and they were her best friends and she got mauled and she lost both of her legs by by two of her wolves and then she was in a wheelchair and she just kept going in there in her wheelchair after that now she's dead wait wolves ate her no thank you for your time but she got mauled yeah and lost her legs it was crazy these people are crazy in wolf culture that's what we call a dick move Dressage hunter girls are by far the worst breed of horse girl. What were, uh, what were you? I was a show jumper horse girl. I've been riding western since I was little. I like working cows. Horses are bottom tier on the animal. You're fucking so oh, yeah, you're stupid, super, dude. Super wrong. You're it's literally top tier animal. Okay, it's like having a gigantic dog that's even smarter than a dog too. This is the best. I think horses are lifelong companions. Yeah, like like, like 20, 30 years. Yeah, horses are lifelong companions. They're literally, they have the same vibes as a fucking dog. Okay? And they're even smarter, and they have more utility. They're awesome. Way they're literally utility. the best. I'm getting real fucking nomadic Turk over here, but, like, it's the truth. Straight up. Horses are creepy? How? What do you mean? Horses suck. Cats are way smarter. <laughs> I love cats. I want, I want an abusive relationship with my pet. Okay, dude, we get it. Yeah, you're you're a fucking sadist, okay? Or I mean, you're a masochist. My horse dropped my ass two weeks ago, Lamau. I still think he wouldn't hurt me, though. I think I've been thrown from horses like fifty times. Yeah, I've I've fallen off a bunch of horses. Oh god, it's the fucking worst. What's the next one? Um, it's still, it's just, we're stuck on a loop here of watching this woman lick. I don't lick. want to watch her anymore. I don't like her. Okay. You don't like her because you're like, I wish I was her. No. You're like, I wish I was licking those wolves. Ew. 
Okay, what is what is this? Is a like fucking Komodo, Komodo dragon? dragon? Yeah, I don't really. I I think so, but I don't know. I think they get. I think it'd be a close one, but I would win. Full scale is wild. Here's the thing. Actually, no, I probably die. Th those things kill people all the time, right? No, they're not venomous, but they have some bacteria in their saliva that that kills you, which would happen really slow, right? So we're talking like they're fighting right now. But I think it would be very, very, very difficult to break its neck, and. I guess if you kicked it really hard, in the I would head. literally jump on its head over and over and over. I would stomp its yeah, fucking head yeah. nonstop. I think I think you would win. I just but they're so muscly, like they're so they're so strong. I don't, and they're really their hard to drool grit. fucks you up, and then they stalk you for days. What? I don't know about that. If a Komodo bites you, you fucking die. He wins in the long game. Long game, yeah. Okay, bleed damage. Okay, well that's different. In the fight though, I would still win. Okay. Can I wait? Is there no like no medical uh, help uh, in the end? I don't know, cause it's not. You can't have it. You can't get an anti venom, cause it's not venom. It's it's like the bacteria when they shred you. So it's just massive infection. I don't. Male think komodos are eight point five feet long. Maybe with tail. I don't know that either. I've never seen one. Get a few hits. They sneak up on people. If you see it coming, then you win. Yeah, I think I could fuck it up, like straight up. Chat, you can take antibiotics. But How to survive a Komodo dragon attack? Body, like, you really Are we gonna see some TOA shit on here? Yeah. If you hear any strange noises while visiting Komodo Island, don't go to check them out because you might find yourself face to face with the world's largest, most dangerous lizard. Big and it See what I mean? Hungry. They're so muscular. Ah, As the it drool. starts charging like, towards you, you, grip that you thing. realize you've never seen a creature move that fast. Why is she wearing like fucking anime high school outfit? Production. What the fuck? Asked before. Here's how to survive a Komodo dragon attack. Seven months. Okay, well, once I watch this YouTube video, it's over. I'm definitely gonna put it into a category. Dragon. They have shark-like teeth, strong muscles and more than enough power to kill a human being. Komodo dragons are the heavyweights of the lizard world. They weigh more than 136 oh, the drool. kilograms and grow up- I think fucking drew's like a bulldog, dude. What the fuck? To three meters long. They're only found on several islands in Indonesia and estimates say there are about 5,700 of them. About 176,000 people visited Komodo National Park in 2018. You're allowed to travel across the park by yourself, but you'll need to be careful. If a hungry dragon comes looking for you, oh what God, could you what do to survive? These, Can you outrun a Komodo dragon? They're not dragon? trying to hunt humans to eat them. And why could zigzagging save your life? Oh, they're one Here's of those. It's like crocodiles. You can zigzag out of their uh, way, right? Because they're stupid. <laughs> not there. Isn't that correct? Visit Komodo Island and get out alive. Step one. Don't go alone. No, because they can't like turn quickly, right? Isn't that it? Maybe. Like, I don't they know. They have to follow your pattern. They can't like actually just be like, oh, this dumbass is zigzagging. I'm going to go straight. I think. It, or I, is I'm that sure, a lie? I'm sure they can go fast if they're beelining. Yeah. But like, I would not zigzag if I was running from a crocodile. I, Because I'm not fast zigzagging either. When a Komodo dragon goes hunting for a meal, it prefers a target that is alone. So always stay around oh other people. God. And don't get cheap. Paying for a guide that. or a ranger's services is the safest way to walk through the park. Step two, stay on the path. Bro, okay, this is like higher help. Like, okay, dude. No, I mean like fucking... No, I don't want to know how to avoid it. I want to know how to kill it. The dragons can speed up to 21 kilometers per hour. Oh my god! So give it all you got and you might escape. If you're not a fast runner, you're tired, or the dragon is close enough to lunge at you, this tip could save your life. Komodo dragons can only run straight ahead, so see? run in a zigzag pattern, and the dragon will stop chasing you. If you see a I've, wooden okay. house on stilts, is it just me or does climb that seem up the stairs really right away. Dumb. Large Komodo dragons cannot climb stairs, but young dragons live in trees, so don't take a chance on climbing a tree. Step six, fight back. Let's go! If the Komodo dragon bites you, it's bad news. If you try to run, the big lizard can follow you for miles, it waiting for its venom really? to it's take crazy. effect. So force the Komodo dragon to let you go. The dragon's scales are like armor, 
so you won't hurt a Komodo dragon by hitting or punching it. Instead, use a tree branch or a rock and hit its nostrils, eyes, or the inside of its mouth. If the dragon is not too big and it grabs a hold of you, you can try and open its mouth with your hands. Actress Sharon Stone arranged a special birthday gift for her husband, a visit to the Komodo dragon at Los Angeles Zoo. And he As ate his foot. He tried to take a photo. The dragon grabbed his foot. He forced the dragon's jaws open, threw it aside, and dragged himself out of the cage. Oh! Step seven. Yo, if Sharon Stone's husband could fuck up a dragon, I can fuck up a Komodo dragon, dude. Let's go! It's a wrap. That shit comes at me, dude. I'm like, yeah! It's done. It's, it's over. Oh, my God. He didn't say he fucked it up. I mean, he could escape, though. I would open his mouth until it fucking, you know, closed up on and of itself. Ew. You get it. It's in. I would just like to say how much. Well, I should I Google the bite? Imagine scooping out someone's thigh with your hand like it was butter. That's how much flesh was lost in one bite. I hated that video. What? You've seen it? No, that, that the video that we just watched. Why? I thought you loved defeating animals in hand to hand combat. No, Lion. So I get torn to shreds. For sure. Easy. I mean, these are like any kind of like apex predator. It's fucking. It's gonna fuck me up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I I have no respect. Uh, ooh, this is an interesting one. Big bird. I think fifty fifty. It would have to grab you in the. It's got no. You don't really have to worry about its mouth, but it would have to grab you like in the jugular. Or like through the skull or something. I don't know. But this bird only weighs like six and a half, seven pounds. It's 50-50 because if I could get... If I could get a hit off on it, it's a wrap. Like you well, said, it's, it's not heavy. Mm -hmm. I, I think that you would win, to be honest. Because you just have to break its neck and... Yeah. Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah, absolutely rhino? no shot whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know. That's done. Are rhinos really aggressive? They're massive. I don't. I mean, they're not particularly aggressive, I don't think. But like, what are you going to do? Punch it? Yeah, it's armored. Kick it? It's an armored vehicle. No shot. It's not happening. I mean, this is not even a question. A little Oriole. Yeah. Panda bear? I feel like they're very cute, but they're obviously like probably really violent, right? It's a bear. It's a bear. So yeah. ripperoni. Get torn to fucking shreds. I wouldn't even be too scared to fight it. I'd be it's too cute. Oh. They're really cute. They're very cute. I love Lost bears. Game. I wish I, I wish we could interact with bears in a like I wish we could have bears like dogs, you know what I mean? I'd be so sick. Ferret. Pandas have no energy. They eat bamboo. Who cares, dude? <laughs> Gorillas only are are herbivores too. Yeah. Uh, ferret, easy. Maybe they get a few hits in. No, they wouldn't. I have two ferrets. They can, I mean, they can bite, but it's... Uh. Okay. Uh, it's over. Get torn to fucking shreds. 100%. Gorilla's penises are only like two inches. Yeah. They're not... Because they're not competitive, right? Yeah. They just like... They fuck you up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they fuck. <sighs> not even a question. Also, get torn to fucking shreds. There is not a single, like, monkey... That I could defeat in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Maybe like, you like the a, really tiny ones. You could take a capuchin. Yeah. Or or like a... Maybe a bonobo. No. Not even a bonobo, I think. No. I think you could take a capuchin. I think that you could take um, any marmosets for sure. Anything bigger than a capuchin, I think you're done for. I had a monkey um, yank me to the ground by my ponytail. How'd you survive? I wasn't in the enclosure. She reached through the enclosure. I was keeping. She grabbed me by my ponytail and pulled me to the ground. She also stole my knife once. That's fucked up. I had to barter it back with chocolate. That was fucked to resolve fights. Yeah. I'd rather let it kill me. A Tibetan Mastiff could fuck you up. That. No. <laughs> no, it's just fluff. No shot. Yeah. Maybe. But it would not fuck me up. No, there's not a dog. Anything bipedal? You're getting rock. What the fuck what is, is this? That? I don't know. Like, it, like it, it just looks like a mule deer. Maybe I don't know. Though. Shark? It's fucking. It's wrap. You're so done. Actually, I don't know. People have like survived sharks by punching them in the face. 
Yeah, but that's a great white. Yeah, I mean, no shot. We're in the water anyway. I, I would die. Yeah. Elephant, not even a question. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, snake, easy peasy. Step on its head. I kill it by accident, dude. I fucking kill it by accident. Ooh, a starfish. What? <laughs> How do I even kill it? Half of these are just like patting the you deck. Just, you just grab it by an arm and go. Great white yeah. the size of the bus. <laughs> why are you acting like you wouldn't be too scared to fight the shark? I mean, that's why I said it would shred me. There is a section for that. You could put it in the I'd be too scared to even fight it section. The shark. Yeah. Yeah. True. Gator. Ooh. Actually. Starfish would box you up. Gator? Crocodile. I can't tell. I can't see his mouth. Okay. Um, what are my chances with the gator? What do you think? You can't. You can't kill it. What kind of, what kind of gator facts do you have? Um, gators daily might be in the chat gators alligators do this thing called we're assuming this is an alligator crocodile alligator uh, if it's chasing you if it's, it's a crocodile if it's you know um no they when they close their mouth alligators teeth um or gators got crocodiles teeth interlock alligators teeth splay out they also live in different places right You'd get um, and kimbo. crocodiles are much larger gator facts gators brewmate which is kind of like hibernation, but it's not. They'll stick their snout out of the water, and then the water will freeze over. So just their nose will be sticking out, and they'll live like that for months, frozen. Here's more money. And then they'll just thaw out, come back to life. It's bizarre. Look Do I have any shot at stomping it on this thing? No, you, you can't. You can't break its neck. You can't kick it. You can't. You can't kick it its skull, like I mean, just you could, pummel but its skull in with my feet, like jumping so on it over and over strong. again. You would be too scared to fight a gorilla. They're so strong. It's and they're so muscular and so big you couldn't get a grip on it. Like I don't I'd really I truly I don't know how you'd kill it without a gun. Without a gun? Yeah, without like a weapon. And even a big gun, right? Even if you had like a, a knife, it'd be so hard to kill it. Well, go. Horse. Horse kills you. You got no chance. Again, you know, without a weapon, if you can't like slit its throat, you can't break the neck of a horse. You can't really, you can't kick it in the head. I would have to wrestle it. You can't wrestle a horse. But I don't think I could wrestle <laughs> it. <laughs> you cannot. I mean, I've, I, I could try. Horse also packs a big bite. Yeah. So there's that. The horse is like a, a 360 no scope weapon. It's got at the back. It's got a kick. And yeah. it's got a tail to whip yeah. you in the face with. And on top of that, I mean, obviously they can like pounce on you. So you'd, I'd have to tackle it by just grabbing the neck while also simultaneously trying to. You couldn't do anything. Like I would try to like wear it out, I guess, but a horse would fuck me up. A horse is going to win no matter what. Have you I ever been kicked by a horse? Um, Happy four months. Probably. I don't I remember. Maybe not. African -American history. I've been kicked twice. Once in the thigh kick its legs. and once in the ribs. That one sucked. Did you break a, maybe if I broke a horse's leg, but like I don't think I'd be you able can't. to get to it. Yeah, you horse. You could not do that with your hands. No, I'd have to kick the horse's leg, but I don't think I'd be able to kick the horse's leg is what I'm saying. I don't know if you could kick hard enough to. Tame it and ride it and ride it off of a cliff 100% <laughs> win rate. Yeah, dude, totally. Horses are so stupid. They'll just go off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> like a video game. <laughs> um. Okay. You're dead. I mean, the entire purpose of like, I get a few hits, but I lose. The entire purpose of like human, the, the only reason why human beings can dominate animals is because like we just have better energy management. Tools. Tool management and also better, like we can, we can go for longer, right? So the whole point is like, you can damage it enough until it like ultimately dies out and then you have to chase it around for like weeks. I had to essentially jack off a horse once. I've, I haven't personally jacked off a horse, but I was there in the jacking off process of a horse. Yeah, I worked on a ranch. Nice. Pretty common chat for those of you who don't know. You have to do that, yeah. If semen you have a stallion. Collection. Yeah, if you have a stallion, you, the semen is incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. I had to hold the, the AV, the, the artificial vagina. Hold it there. We, we didn't use artificial vagina. It's like a fucking fleshlight almost. Like a gigantic fucking sheath, like a leather sheath. It was leather. 
But that's what it's just called. I don't know. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Your ancestors tamed the wild horses of yore. The steppe would not have been conquered without your people's domination of the horse. It is in your blood, Hassan. I think so too, but who knows? Hassan, your desire to dominate the entire animal world in combat sports is deeply weird. What? No, it's not. (laughs) It's just very male. I think it's normal. Uh, Easy. It's done. It's a wrap. You're done. Okay. Some of these are just to make people feel better. It, cat, fuck it up. Wait, you said it would get a few hits in? Those two? Oh. <laughs> I, I was just... Wait. Yeah, okay. Now it's fine. Yeah, I could destroy the cat. Like, sure. absolutely. There are some cats that kind of deserve it, too. Damn. That d- deserve to be destroyed. Wow. Am I wrong? They're so fucking... They're like... They think... They're so aggressive, dude. Cats are so fucking insanely aggressive. They're not, not good. all of them. Some cats, Some cats are, really are so... Cat would cut you a bit, though. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'll fucking smack the shit out of it. <laughs> you can fuck up cheetahs? No, no shot. you can't. What? No, dude. Any, any like, hunting animal... Cheetahs can... do have kind of a small mouth. It doesn't matter. It's about how quickly it can get to my... Like areas that would kill me, yeah, or no, just tried you. or and she does are heavy too, right? They're not that small. They're fucking pretty big and they're pretty yeah. agile. Yeah. She just can be fucked up. You absolutely could fuck it up. Wait, what? No, he could not. No. They aren't very strong with their claws of razors. She does are small and have anxiety. You'd be <laughs> fine. You're making it seem like a cheetah is a chatter, dude. Like, oh, yeah, cheetah has imposter syndrome, dude. Wait, what? Cheetahs are pathetic? Bushmen running up to cheetahs? Now, the bushmen abandon their pursuit of the fleeing herd and move instead to the two cheetahs and their catch. Just look how little the their mouth is. The big cats will not easily give up their hard-won prize, but the bushmen intend to take it. Are they? I can't tell if they're wearing pants ask, or not. But then I thought that you saw it and it was fine, so I don't. I can't tell if they're wearing pants or not. Like it's. Oh. Oh, they are. They are, but it's yeah, like but it's not pretty. very protective. Okay. No, they're they're wearing pants, but they're, but you know, ship my slip out. Also, they have weapons, dude. I'm talking hand to hand combat. Chat, we can't watch. If he gets banned again, second time in a row that I'm here, I'm never coming back. Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, it's basically a fast lynx. You could twat a lynx. No, he couldn't. Cheetos are faked for angloid audiences, lol. They're like a dog. They don't have retractable claws like other big cats. There's no there there's no questions here. He he loses to a cheetah. Sorry. Wow. Mario doesn't believe in me. No. I think that's what it is. No, I don't. Not for this. Okay, you know what? It would be a close one, but I'd lose is what I'm going to say. Here's who dunked on cheetahs. Oh, they, they have no gas, right? Isn't it because they have like, yeah. they literally gas out easy. Got some pretty major weaknesses. So today I'd like to take the time to elaborate on the generalizations I made in my original cat tier list video a few years back. Realistically, every build on that list deserves a video to itself. And seeing as cheetahs are my favorite of the bunch, I'll start with them. We'll begin with the pop. They're very cute, though. Like, that's a cute-ass fucking animal. Like, I would love to kiss it. They are really cute. Give it a little kiss, a little, little pet on the face. Positives. A little poop on the nose. So, cheetahs have a rather unorthodox stat spread. While most cats focus mainly on power and stealth, the cheetah has sunk all available evolution points into mobility, granting it the highest mobility stat in the game. This is pretty important because it makes the cheetah the only carnivore build in the African meta that can actually chase down and outspeed herbivores like the Impala and Gemspot. All the other carnivores need to either pull off a successful stealth strike or keep up the chase at a distance and wait for their target's stamina to run out. Huh. Cheetahs can actually close the distance on any fleeing player. Yeah, that's a dex build, dude. I can fuck this up. I'm, I'm beginning to feel like I can fuck up a cheetah. Cheetahs often don't get enough credit for their effectiveness using team strategies. Their high intelligence allows them to organize some pretty coordinated attacks that enable a party of cheetah mates to take down some surprisingly large targets. Wait, look. Oh, look at the little baby toesy. There's an apex predator, Hassan. Oh, it's such a cutie, though. <laughs> 
are blunted while running, which debuffs their potential slash damage and eliminates one of the cat build's signature combat moves, the paw swipe. Cheetahs do have one claw on the back of their paws that is not used for traction and therefore remains sharp, and this claw gives them a bonus to grappling attempts while pouncing. However, its placement on the back of the foot makes it useless when a cheetah player is defending themselves. And unfortunately, the inability to defend themselves is the crucial weakness that keeps cheetahs low on the tier list. Because a cheetah player will need to do a lot of defending. In particular, there are two- There are no documented records of a wild cheetah killing a human. You could kill it. It's over. It's over. I'm, I'm putting it up. I'm, I would win. All right. It's over. You're wrong. All right. A fucking big ass octopus. Okay, hold on. How are you going to kill it? mean he's like stomp on it okay so you're out of water i mean it, i'm not like out in the fucking water like where well, octopuses can so survive different. outside of the water if it's if it's out of water yeah you just fucking step on it no but i i mean like i mean like i am not i'm not swimming if it's water where i'm not swimming if it's like up to here i think i could try to take it how no actually that's a lie i'm too scared yeah, it would no, fuck me not up. Even, you're too scared but like physically what would you do if you were in water like up to your waist or whatever and there was octopus trying to kill you How i want you to grab it <laughs> okay and then what and then like try Pop to choke head? it yeah choke it. what do you mean like not choke it, it but like to, like squeeze it <laughs> like squeeze it whatever whatever i could get my hands on it would just like smash into one another but then here, okay so here's let's walk through this you, you have okay. the octopus head and you're just squeezing it. You're trying to choke it, which does nothing because there's no trachea I win there against to, every to, animal to, because animals to, to choke. So then it grabs you with everything, right? It, mm. It's just stuck to you, all tentacles, and it's Fine. it's just ripping you up with its beak. Oh, it's like any hard part of it, like the beak. I could just like I think if it's trying to like hit me with a beak. I would just grab on, like I would try to grab onto the beak and like rip the beak off. I don't think that you could. I think I, I could rip the beak off. It's like really in there. And I feel like if you try to like, reach ugh. in there and grab it, you would just get your hand would just get destroyed. Fucked up. Yeah. I don't you can't know. Just pull it out. It'd also be really slippery. I think if there's super tight spaces too, though, that wouldn't kill it. The beak and is like, inside the middle of the octopus. Pull off tentacles either. Octopus can rend flesh from the body. Like, I truly, I think an octopus would be so hard to kill. If oh, it says the octopus would force involved. itself into your mouth and suffocate you? No, it wouldn't. He's lying. Don't listen to him. That's not how no, they would die. <laughs> what the fuck? They can survive 20 to 30. Yeah, I'd probably have to fight it out outside of the water, though. Because they can survive outside of the water. If it was outside the water, you for sure have a chance. Inside the water, I, I, I truly, I don't know how I would go about trying to kill it. You have to bite its brain out. Oh God, not this guy. You don't like him? I'm in Hawaii, caught on the trail of an octopus. Is he a douche? I had him in my grasp. Look at him. But I lost him, or so Listen I Listen to him. Bruce saw him duck into it's another still hideout. You have the Komodo dragon and iguanas in the same category. You're. Uh oh. I've only got a few seconds. You gotta make this count. I've got him. When he's fighting back, it wrapped around my arm like a snake. Now it's 50 feet back up. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, nice yeah. Nice. Awesome. I mean, this is bitch made, dude. I could fuck this thing up. I could smash it That's into a like small octopus, though. I'm just saying, like I'm I could... thinking like Pacific octopus, like big boys. An octopus could literally sneak through your pipes and finger your booty hole while you're shitting. <laughs> By this picture, you could kill a fucking elephant in space. What is this, out of water or nonsense? <laughs> okay, dude. All right, whatever. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're right, though. Okay, crab. <laughs> okay, dude. Only difficult boss in Elden Ring. Okay. What if I pinched you in the eyeball? Not getting to my eyeball. <laughs> Again, dog, easiest combat, like, destroy it. Not even a question. Absolutely fucking murder that thing. Again, mm. 
Mm. Maybe a few hits in. I have in. been knocked over many times. No, I know. Sheep. They're, they're you know. We had a sheep when I was little named Hershey. And we only had her because she was at a petting zoo. And she kept beating the fuck out of kids. And so they were like, she can't be here anymore. So then we rescued her. And then when my friends would come over, it would have to run from her. Because she would just beat them up. I can still fuck that sheep up. She was the Let worst. Let me at him. Let she's, me at him. She's like super dead. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> bitch. <a> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Fucking dead. That's what I thought. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, do you have anything uh, for peacocks? They're super loud and really annoying. Oh, okay. Well. That's all I got. Smack the shit out of it. Okay. Um, Interesting one, but uh, again. Yeah. One neck snap and it's over. What the fuck is this? It's a barn owl. 100%. It's like one of the weakest owls ever. They're big, big pussies. No offense. Sorry, barn owls. What the fuck is a whale? Blue whales? Guess how much they weigh. Just like ballpark. I don't know. Like This might be a humpback actually, but we're ta- let's just talk blue whales because it's more interesting. 20,000 pounds. 100,000 pounds. What? You're Shut not the even close. Fuck up. 100 Okay. 500,000 pounds. A little lower. A little lower. 400,000 pounds. 420,000 pounds. That's insane. Yeah, it is. They're massive. It's like a building. That three school buses is usually what people the metric or they they're they're massive. Okay, that's unacceptable. I mean, that that thing I'd be too scared to fight anyway. It's water. Water animals are my weakness. The other thing though, I mean, they're filter feeders. It's not like it's going to bite you. Like, I don't really know how a blue whale would kill you, but you could not kill it. Would eat it. me. They don't they don't eat you. They're, I don't know, they're, but like they would like they would, If it swallowed you, sure. Yeah, yeah, it would swallow me. Wouldn't I die in it's like stomach muscles or whatever and like acids? I am not I'm not sure that they could that it could actually swallow you, but I don't know. Lure it into shallow water. I mean, that's GG's, yeah, but I can't outswim a fucking whale. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the whale would outswim me, right? Like, yeah. there's no shot. <laughs> I love the person saying you could, it could swallow you, you could fuck it from the inside. In this, <laughs> how am I surviving underwater he's, in that situation? He's drowned. He's like, dead. I've drowned a million <laughs> times over by that point. And also, yeah, it would it would choke me regardless while I w- while it was swallowing me. I think that could be a it would be a, a basically I feel like that would be a, a draw because like I it swallows me and then it dies because I it can't digest me. Yeah, I well okay. Also, I I really don't know what would happen if a whale swallowed a person or if that's even possible in the first place. Um, but. I think you're you have to be in the water for this one. Like I don't think you for sure could not kill a whale. I don't think a whale would really be able to kill you. I feel like you would just drown first and then you die. Yeah. Uh water dogs. Uh uh-huh. No? Are we talking in the water? In the water, no, you have water. no chance. On land well, not in the water, obviously. On land, I just saw you cannot grip that thing and you can't break its neck. And it shreds. It's got teeth. Really? Yeah. I feel like I could do that. Okay. <laughs> whale tails notoriously kill people. It was literally in the Bible, Maya. The voice of a whale can lock your bones in place. They can communicate across the world. There Ooh. is sperm Wait, whales. Wait, how can the voice of a whale lock your bones in place? Sperm whales? Okay, well, I don't know what that means. But sperm whales vocalize at like, oh my gosh. I want to say it's like, like 350 decibels i don't know what the number is but it's like 50 decibels over the level to where um sound waves turn into shock waves or something just like disgusting it's disgusting look up i'll look it up right now sperm whale clicks can kill yeah the clicks can burst your eardrums doesn't matter because at this point the swan has already killed you when you look the other way Maya is literally a third of your weight. Don't listen to her takes. What? What What does that have to do with anything? It's not like she's not thinking about herself. Sperm whale, 233 decibels. There have been times where Dobby's got blasted by the whale sonar and it was bone shaking and terrifying. Whatever, dude. Loud noises. I got that. It's fine. 
fuck it up. Which weekend are you going to Coachella? Why do you care, bro? This week. For comparison. Okay. Duck. It's over. Heavy traffic is like 80 decibels. Chainsaw, 106 decibels. Gunshot. Siren at 100 feet is 140 decibels. Mm -hmm. Aircraft takeoff. 120. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Anyway. Loud. Loud, loud, How loud, loud is it? Louder than a gunshot? 233 decibels. It's, almost, it's like, like double as loud as, loud as a gunshot. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Every 10 decibels is an exponential order of power higher. Logarithmic. Okay, so loud, loud, So loud, this, loud. this, this. I, I don't know how you'd kill that. And I think, like, in water, you're dead. I would try to hug it. You can't, you can't grip it. They're so muscular and they're so slippery. They're fast. And flexible. Okay. And they're fast. In water, you are dead. Guaranteed. Couldn't kill it in water. Like, I can't just punch it in the fucking face. Not in water. No, I'm not in water. I'm outside saying outside of, water, of the water. I think, yeah, outside water, you could kill it. You would you Jimbo chalk up beforehand. Yeah, I, I'll just chalk up. Do you know what an elephant seal is? No. Look up male elephant seal. They're Is that another penis massive. thing? Massive. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought you meant... Oh. What? The, oh, I have... What the fuck? They're huge. Like, they're so much... They're ugly as hell. You need to look up like a size comparison or something to understand. They're, they're so big. Okay, just how big are elephant seals? What? For an idea of the scale of the supergiant we're here to find, I've got a selection of skull books as being the largest land predator on a... Do nothing. Are you, are you... I'm just checking how far it is. Yeah. Charlie Puth and Haas and I were born in the same year. What the fuck? What does that have to do with it? Okay. All right, fuck it. Yeah, it would win. Okay, 50-50 chance, win or lose. Or okay, in fairness, that that, that picture is... I think that's a the California sea lion or something. That's not an elephant seal, but... Whatever. Cow. And eat it. <laughs> How are you going to kill it? I feel like you can break a cow's neck. No, you can't. You cannot. At all? You can't break a cow's neck at all? Nope, not without a weapon. Cows, are, like cows are massive. I know, I know that, yeah. Very strong, and they're definitely massive. You for can't sure. just grab its head and like. There's no way. They're huge. But what? How is it killing me? It runs you over. It just comes at you, and knocks you over, and steps on you, and you die. I think I could tip it over. And then no. it's. You can't. Wait, isn't that a thing? People do cow tipping? And then I tip it over and the cow's like, oh no, I'm tipped over like I'm dead. No. And then I just like pummel its head. I just kick its head a lot. No. I live next to these bitches and they will sort of leak you to death. They're like big puppies that will crush you with their bodies with affection. Cows kill more people than sharks by a lot? Okay, well that's because they're gigantic and around people. Okay, so I'd lose. Yeah. I think it'd be a close one. Okay, okay. Okay. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is what is that? A dolphin, dolphin. would rape me. I'd be too scared to fight. <laughs> and then fucking goat. goat. Easy. Yeah, you kill a goat. They get a few hits, but I'd win. You kill a goat. Okay. Well, that concludes our our animal facts. I like. I think that's a pretty realistic list. I think that's pretty solid. Do you want to see, um, like, how fucking stupid people are? Chat, do you guys have that thing? Um, like, the unrealistic expectations of humans thinking that they can beat... Unrealistic expectations... Got it. Human versus... That, the one I didn't do, I don't know what it is. Why are men obsessed with imaginary fights against wild animals? 
What the fuck is this? <laughs> Humans are physically pathetic, but not a significant, not insignificant number of them refuse to accept it. <laughs> All you have to do is bait the cow into water. They don't have anal muscles, so they flinch up. They fill up from behind and drown. <laughs> is not true what the people have said that about sheep too they're like oh they can't get wet because they can't clench their anus and they'll drown from the butt it's not a, that is not a thing. oh here it is here it is here it is which animals could you beat up in a fight <laughs> by you you gov dot uk 45 percent of britons think they could beat a goose in a fight they could. Okay, medium-sized dog, 38. Eagle, 18%. Large dog, 13%. Chimpanzee, 10%. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely This is what not. I mean. Like, no shot. King Cobra? Yeah. You can't beat a King Cobra? You for sure could. You just can't get bit. Okay. They're big. They're, like, really long. I think it's the longest venomous snake. How long are they? The kangaroo one is... is uh... Oh, here. UK versus US graph. That's pretty funny. 72% of Americans say they could beat a oh, rat. They're, yeah, they're 10 to 12 feet. Yeesh. Jiu-jitsu works on chimps? No, it doesn't, feet. dude. No, it doesn't. Why are you saying these things? The chimpanzee feet. is not going to follow your fucking gi and, like, hold on and, and wait for you to do, like, locks and shit, you dumb MMA-watching, Joe Rogan-loving, chimpanzee-brained idiot. A chimpanzee would just rip your fucking eyes out of its socket and eat it while you're like, oh, my God, my eyes... This is not, you know, up to technicality. Like, what are you doing? You're supposed to hold on to my gi. A chimpanzee would literally start fucking your eye socket. Okay? Ew. Ew. That was gross. <laughs> People always... No, I've heard this a lot. Like, they I'm literally was like, oh, dude, dude. Of the <laughs> I, could, I could do Brazilian jiu-jitsu, okay, against <laughs> a chimp. Also, who the fuck is saying they can't beat a rat? Like, that's pathetic. House cat 66, 69. Like, who's saying they could beat an elephant? Yeah, no, that that that's just absurd. All this shit's dumb as fuck. I, I don't know if I could beat a kangaroo. I probably kangaroo could fuck me up, probably. King Cobra, probably, yes, fuck me up. Blam. Chimpanzee, no shot. Everything but, like, up to here, like a large dog, I could fuck up all these things. Americans are born with guns, that's true. <laughs> Anyway, the Detroit self-defense self motherfucker beating a chimp. That's awesome. 